seven, eight, nine, ten campers, and the klutz that's been getting on my nerves all day. Well, the gang's all here. No one's fallen behind. In that case, I think we're ready to call it a night. All right, crew, listen up. Congrats all, that's a wrap on day one. You officially survived the first day of the hike. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now, as you've all figured out, we're stopping early at this campsite instead of the next as planned, since the weather is getting rougher than expected. So, feel free to spread out across the grounds for dinner and rest. Since we stopped hiking early tonight, we'll convene an hour earlier tomorrow at 6 a.m. to hit the trails again and make up for today. Do we have any questions? All right, I'll be setting up over here, so don't be afraid to come over if you need anything. You're dismissed. My feet hurt way too much for it to be day one of the hike. This advanced level trail's no joke. I'm out of practice. I wish I could have trained more, but they switched me from leading the intermediate group so last minute that I didn't get the time. Oh well. I don't mind. The views on this trail are well worth the pain. Alright. Let's start this tent set up before I get whisked away to help others. Where'd I put that tarp? Ugh. Who's calling my name? Oh, it's her. Of course. Who else would it be? The one and only Klutz. It's always something with her. Yep, yeah, I hear ya. You don't have to keep yelling. I'll be over in a second. Where's she yelling from? Ah. Smile so bright it reflects off the snow. Could find her from a million miles away. It's all freaking annoying, I swear. I'm here. What do you need help with? The stakes? What? You're not even at the stakes yet? Seriously. How many times have you done this? You, you've been on multiple hikes and you still can't sock your own tent. Jeez. Let me have a look. Hold on. This is your same tent from the summer? You brought a single walled tent for this trip. In the winter. Are you crazy? Yeah, you need a double walled tent. It's cold as hell out here. We're in the snow. Did you even look at the list I passed out for supplies? Because if you did, you would have bought a new tent. Well, of course you didn't. You gotta be kidding me. You are gonna freeze in that. Please tell me you at least brought a sleeping pad. No sleeping pad, just the tarp. Above, help me. I, I, uh, I don't have the emotional strength to deal with this one today. I'm exhausted, yet I still have this urge to stay and help her until she's comfortable. How is she cute and annoyingly needy at the same time? Wait, what am I saying? She's annoyingly needy. That's it. Listen. I'm going to help you finish putting up this tent, but I'm letting you know from now on that if you don't want to get pneumonia, you're sleeping with your coat on. No, I'm not joking. Fine. Don't take me seriously. But don't come crying to me in the middle of the night when you feel like your fingers are freezing off. No. Let me finish the tent. Let's see here. Tarps down... Body's on. Uh, no. The tent poles have to go into the grommet. See, like that. Everything else is 
fine. Now, give me your stakes. Your arms hurt, so I'll push them in. Give me another two. All right, last one. What are you waiting for? Give me the stake. What are you doing? Move your hands. I'm doing it. What? Why do you want to help? No, no, no. There's no need for four hands to get a single stake in. Now, give it to me and move. Damn. Maybe I was a bit too mean. Ah, she looks disappointed. I feel bad now. You really want to help that bad? Alright, fine. Put your hands over mine. One, two, three. Push. There you go. That was completely unnecessary, but if it makes you feel more accomplished, then there. You finish your own tent. Now, oh. let go of my hands. Look at that stupid little smile. Are you good now? You're done nagging me for the rest of the night? Now what? Oh, need your arm rebandaged from the fall. All right. Uh, follow me to my tent. You shouldn't be on this trail, you know. You and I both know you weren't ready for this advanced of a hike. That fall you took from nearly passing out? Could have been so much worse if I didn't slow your velocity. You should still be in the intermediate group. I don't know why you switched. Eh, sit down and hike your sleeve up. I know I'm teaching advanced this season, but you don't just follow your favorite instructor to whatever level they're working. You stay where you belong. I don't even know why I'm your damn favorite anyways. Yeah, well, I have ten other campers on this hike that I've got to look out for. I don't have time to be babying you. There. There. It's all bandaged. You all good? Not gonna bother me anymore tonight? Good. Now go rest. It's getting dark. Good night. What the hell? What is that? Animal? No. It's scratching and small hoarse voice. Seriously, right now? What time is it? Oh damn it. I just got warm enough to fall asleep. Hmm, <sighs> of course it's you. No, don't try to talk from out there. Get in. You're letting the cold air in. Quick. Why the hell are you scratching at my tent at 2 a.m.? Oh, damn, you're freezing. Are you alright? Yeah, well, whose fault is that? Single walled tent, summer sleeping bag, and no pads. It's like you're trying to get yourself sick. Oh. What do you want? You want to sleep in my tent? Well, what choice do I have? Fine. No, clearly you're going to have to. Given how you look, there's no way you'll make it till morning. You, you can sleep right there. 
Yeah, where do you think I was going to let you sleep? Inside my bag? Hell no. I've got two sleeping pads. I'll sacrifice one of them for your comfort. That's all. Mm. Here. Now. Go to sleep. Freezing without that pad. Feels like I'm sleeping on snow. I couldn't imagine what they're going through. She's not even in a sleeping bag. Mm. What? No, I'm fine. You? Mm. Who am I kidding? I'm fucking freezing without that extra pad. No, I'm not saying give it back. I'm saying they're meant to be used in tandem. One to shield from the snow and one for warmth. Splitting them up defeats the purpose. Both of us are going to be icicles in the morning if we sleep like this. Well, there's no point doing this just for both of us to freeze. We're gonna have to stack them and share. You're gonna make me say it twice. I said we're gonna have to share my sleeping bag. I wouldn't fall asleep with your teeth chattering so loud all night anyway, so get in here. <clears throat> It's gonna be a tight fit. Ah, my arm. You're squishing me. Okay, no. No, no, that's fine. I'll be your pillow, I guess. <clears throat> so, how are you feeling? Still dizzy? No, good. No, you weren't heavy. I had no problem carrying you. I, I trained for that stuff. You had me worried when you nearly fainted earlier. You know, you've got to be more careful. It's not uncommon for people to get altitude sickness, but you... I've never seen you so ill in all the months you've hiked in my group. No, I don't care about you. It's... That's ridiculous. I'm just... I'm just doing my job. Have you had any fluid since then? I swear you're gonna kill me. You've gotta hydrate. <clears throat> Hold on. I made tea in a thermos earlier. Here. Drink. No. No sugar. I like it bitter. Come on, just drink it. Now's no time to be picky. This isn't a joke. Your health is on the line. Thank you. Huh? No, I'm not mad. I'm just tired. You've caused me a lot of trouble today. I know. Sorry if I've been harsh, but why are you being so careless? What? What do you mean to get my attention? Actually, never mind. I know what you mean. Well, what do you want me to say? That I liked it? No, I didn't like that you put yourself in danger just to get my attention. You could seriously hurt yourself. Besides, you already had my attention anyways. What do I mean? Are you really going to play dumb? You know what I mean. I mean that... That... Oh, fuck it. Mm. 
That's what I mean. What? No, I never hated you. Far from it, I just... I'm protective of you. Why do you look so surprised? We've been hiking together for what feels like forever. You're strong, beautiful, and resilient. Never afraid to take on challenges. I've admired you for a while, even if I don't show it. Yes, I mean that. What, do I need to kiss you more for you to believe me? <laughs> All right, then. Get in closer. Let me warm you up. Now, close those eyes and go to sleep. You've got to leave super early tomorrow so no one sees you leave my tent. Why? Because they're going to think that we were doing something we're not. <laughs> you wouldn't mind them thinking that? No. To be honest, I wouldn't mind either. No, it doesn't matter. You're mine from now on anyways. <laughs> 